after the Portland State game, the, you know, the speed of the game, you're still getting adjusted to it, and then you got thrown into a game against a really fast, you know, a team that was trying to be real physical and real fast. What was it like out there? Uh, it was an adjustment, but I, I felt a little more comfortable out there, yeah, um, which was nice. You know, I had one under my belt, but as you said, they they were fast and they were big, um, but you know, I, I felt pretty comfortable. Matty, years past when BYU and Utah plays, it seems like BYU doesn't play their best for some reason, and, and Utah maybe brings more emotional fire, or whatever. What are you guys going to do this year to maybe rise to the occasion? Well, I mean, we can't really, you know, we're not going to sit back and think of, you know, in the past and what's happened. Uh, right now, we're just going to focus on what we can control, and and that is, you know. Bringing up, bringing all the emotion that we have, that we can bring, and bringing all the passion that we that we know we have, and and um, working our hardest this week. I can't even can't even stress enough how important preparation is. This week is going to be huge for us um, to get ready um, to you know to come out and, and and bring it against against Utah. How hard is it to have a lot of emotion in a game like you played Saturday when you know they were just pounding it? You guys were on the field for 42 minutes. It seemed like you know the emotion level. You guys were still playing hard, but it seemed like the emotion level just kind of sagged a little bit, just because you guys were on the field for so long. Yeah, I mean, it it can be tough to keep that up. Definitely, um, you know, as fatigue starts to hit in. Um, but you know, that's something that you know the leaders that we've talked about. It's we got even if we're tired, it's no excuse. We got to be able to keep that up, and we got to be able to you know help help pick everybody up around us and. And uh, and keep that motion alive because, honestly, like that emotion, it, it it helps so much more to make plays and 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 be involved. How do you think this defense matches up against what Utah will try and do offensively? Uh, I think I mean I think we match up well. I you know I our our defense is is nice because we rely on on speed. And I think and I think we have speed and uh, and we have size as well. You know our strength staff has done a great job helping us get you know get as big and as strong as we need to get, but maintain that speed. So I think, you know, our defensive scheme combined with all that, I think we're going to match up really well. How hungry is this team and this program to snap this losing streak to Utah? Um, about as hungry as, as, as you can get. We'll put it that way. We're hungry. That's for sure. You didn't grow up around this because you're from Washington. What are your observations of this rivalry having played in it and been around? Uh, I mean, it's a great rivalry. Yeah, I grew up in Washington. I got to see, you know, the Washington State University of Washington rivalry. Um, I live pretty close to Pullman, um, so you know, seeing that growing up, coming down here, it's, you know, it's it's the same type of deal, if not more so here, just because you know we live so close, especially. Um, but yeah, no, it's 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 a fun rivalry, one of the best in in the nation. What. Uh... What element does Darren Carrington bring to their to their offense? Obviously, played his first game against uh, North Dakota. What does he bring to them? Uh, I don't know. Um, you know, he's he's an athlete, so he's. I mean, he's going to help contribute. Um, I don't know. I, I I haven't I haven't seen enough film. I mean, on him yet. But I mean, he's yeah, he's he's a good player. Your uh, your offense has done really well in practices. It seems not to translate in the games. What what have you seen in practices that give you encouragement that they are a big play offense? I mean, we got we have the athletes. Um, you know, we have the athletes that, that that can make that can make the plays and and uh, that can do their job. And 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 we know that we're confident in them. They're confident in themselves. You know, it's first two games. Um, you know, things happen, but. But we're, you know, we're still confident in them, and and I, I'd say that's the biggest thing. You know, we can just recognize that they, they are they are athletic enough to get it done, and and they're they're good enough football players to get it done, and so we trust them. What does Micah Hanneman's loss mean to this team for that first half? I mean, um, I think I heard Fred answer. I mean, it's, you know, it's it's obviously. It, it hurts. He, he's one of the best DBs. You know, three-year starter. Um, he's one of our guys. But uh, you know, we've talked we've talked a long time about the depth that we have at safety, and so 
you know, we feel confident about the guys that can come in and, and, and help out and, and get the job done. And, you know, the second half comes around and Micah's in, it's going to be, it's going to be awesome for us. So. Do you guys talk much about how to avoid those targeting penalties or do you coach that? How much do the coaches that? Uh, I mean, they definitely, yeah, I mean, they emphasize it a lot, you know, hitting with your face mask, keeping your head up. It's, it's hard. You know, I, I saw the play, um, it, you know, it was, uh, I, I guess I don't understand all the rules, to be honest. It looked, it looks like a normal tackle to me, but I, I don't understand all the rules. So, um, but yeah, I mean, they, they put a big emphasis on us to keep our, keep our face masks up and, you know, and strike through and it's, it's difficult and in those types of situations, but yeah. Does it get harder if the ball carrier is, is getting down and squatting low and trying to protect himself and you need to get down to his legs? That's, yeah, that's, I mean, that's the hardest thing, right? Is when you're already coming down to hit him from the waist or lower and simultaneously he's dropping down and it, I mean, but still we just, we gotta work hard, I guess, on, on keeping our face masks up and, you know, not, not letting it drop down at all. I guess that's that's probably what they're looking for. Last question. Talk, ask Fred this, but just the, the 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 fact that there were a lot of missed tackles and LSU had some physical, real physical guys. What's what's the reason for that, and how do you address it? Because it just it just seemed like there were opportunities for guys to make plays on defense that weren't able to get guys to the ground. Uh, how do we address it? I I would just say that you know we just need to we just need to focus more on it. Um, you know, throughout this week, as I said, this prepare like this week of preparation is going to be huge for us, and that's one of the things that, that we're going to focus on is is really striking through and wrapping up and keeping our feet. Um, I think me in particular, I had a couple missed tackles where I, I I just left my feet too soon, and uh, you know instead of doing that, when you when you strike and you wrap up, you got to keep driving through, and and that's what we need to focus on this week.